How about we play our own vampire, or do we play Glissa? What's up, everyone? It's the one, Jamin. Today, we are playing Golgari Midrange. We are on our standard regional qualifier era, and if you are playing standard and want to do well in best of three, these subset of matches of decks are what we are, are is what you can expect to play against if you're playing locals, if you're playing in your FNMs, RCQs, regional championships, and etc. So we're gonna play them for you and see how good they do. So far, we've played a couple of them already. So if you haven't seen those already, I implore you to go back and check those out. Um, we're, we, we played Esper and things like that already. So go and check those out. We're playing Golgari today. This is gonna have the end game of attacking with a bunch of lands, especially against control decks. But we do have interaction, we have really good threats, and we also have a lot of staying power. We have cut down, anoint with affliction, go for the throat, um, and Liliana of the Veil for interaction. Even Glissa Sunslayer can kill our opponent's enchantments, and that's very relevant against decks like Domain. Virtual Persistence does minus three, minus three to something. Nissa kills artifacts and enchantments as well. So a lot of artifact and enchantment hate here in this Golgari deck. We have Deep Cavern Bat, which has become a staple in standard. It actually, I was looking at some stats, and this is the number one card in standard. <laughs> number one plate card, which is crazy. Four Mosswood, Dread Knight, two Preacher of the Schism, two Liliana of the Veil, three Sentinel of the Nameless City, uh, three Glissa, three copies of Shield of the Apocalypse, two Blossoming Tortoise, which can get our lands back out of our graveyard if they die, like Restless Cottage and Mistress Foundry, but it can also ramp you, and it can also um, just get you Restless Cottage and Mistress Foundry, even if you don't currently have one, if you mill one with Blossoming Tortoise. It also pumps the Restless Cottage and Mistress Foundry. We also have one copy of Gix's Command, uh, and then we have a Takanuma and Besaju in the mana base. This is best of three, so we have an extra cut, we have an extra cut down, an extra Anoint with Affliction, two Duress, two Terra Sunder, two Path of Peril. We also have, uh, one Phyrexian Arena, two Tranquil Frillback, if we want to kill more artifacts and enchantments. Another Gixxus Command and a Breach the Multiverse. So let's go ahead and get into the matches. It all starts right now. CoolStuffInc.com is a proud sponsor of this channel, and you can show your support while getting 5% off your entire order and a free The One James Goblin Shaman token by using the code JAMES5 at checkout. Need singles for constructed or kitchen table play? Looking to pick up sealed product or the latest in magic accessories? We've got you covered. CoolStuffInc.com is the place for all your Magic the Gathering needs, and support me by using the code JAMES5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. It's going to be really hard for us to lose if we draw land. If we play against a control deck, it's going to be really hard for us to win this game. That, that's the nature of a mid-range deck. It's hard to win against control decks if you have all your removal spells, and easy to win against aggro decks if you do have them. Blackleaf Cliffs. One mana, one one. Duress main deck? What do they have? One mana, one one. Epicure. Guess I'm killing that. I don't know what that could be. Is this like an Inti deck or something? Dread Knight. Okay, I guess I'm drawing a card. It's not a land. Upsetting. Oh, it's vampires. Um, Blood Tithe Harvester? Well, they're in Bloodcaster. There's the land we've always wanted. How about we play our own vampire, or do we play Glissa? We're definitely playing a 3-drop. I'll play our vampire. They probably have Preacher of the Schism and Voldaren, Voldaren Thrill Seeker in their deck also. As their three drops. Also, they could have uh, Lorien or whatever the name is, the three mana Rakdos Vampire. They also have Blood Tithe Harvester in their deck as well. A lot of, lot of good vampires that have come out that are just happen to be a, be a vampire in the past few sets. The like Preacher of the Schism. Another Epicure. Oh, there's, there's also the uh, Baron card that has that has Madness and Convoke. Baltolome is also a vampire. Sacrifice a creature or artifact, put a counter on it. Oh, wow, that's good. That's good. It means it's big. Okay, so we're going to go Deep Cavern Bat. And then we're probably going to use one of these cards. Probably Anoint with Affliction on the Bloodcaster or Baltolome. 
Maybe we'll attack with Preacher and then make them sacrifice stuff for this if they want to block it. Bartolome del Presidio. You really have to break out your your Spanish accent when you say Bartolome del Presidio. Yeah, what is there to think about? I don't, I don't get it. They have a stop here. They're like on full control. Bartolome and Falconrath Pitfighter. None of these do anything. I guess I could take the Pit Fighter, because that draws two cards, and that can easily sack the Voldaren Epicure next turn. But this thing gets big. I guess I don't want them to draw cards. It, oh, they, they're not on full control. They just have a stop from Baltala Bay. The sack a creature artifact, and they're not they're not pressing. Okay, that is annoying. They drew Pit Fighter for turn. That's annoying. Now they attack with the with the I don't think they can attack with the Bloodcaster because they can just block with the Deep Cavern Bat. Oh. Sure. I'll do this, and then when they sacrifice something for Boltolome, we can get rid of the Pit Fighter, I think. I don't want them to draw two cards. They sacked the thing attacking, so they're not going to draw two cards anyway. So I'm not going to take life this turn. Or Kaiju, how's it going? Activate only if an opponent lost life this turn. Alright, opponent, what you got? Okay, so I think I should do this on this. I don't really care about Botolome. I can block it with, with one ones. Blossoming Tortoise is pretty nice. I wish I could gain a life. But I can't do that. So we attack with Preacher of the Schism. This game's going to take a lot longer because they have Portolome in, in their deck and the opponent unfortunately doesn't know how to press OK. We could play Dread Knight and hold up Go for the Throat or just play Tortoise. Dread Knight, hold up, go for the throat, or play Tortoise. I think we, I think we can just play Tortoise. They might be on Twitch because they say TTV in their name, maybe. Well, come on, opponent. I am becoming visibly frustrated. 
by the opponent taking 13 minutes on a single action. Alright, we got a lay. That's all I wanted. Opponent's an ASMR streamer? Are they actually? That's funny. I mean, it, there could be more than one TTT noodle wolf underscore in the world. Doing ASMR while playing Arena? It's a possibility. They're like Bartolome del Presidio. Mmm, Falconrath Pit Fighter. Draw cards. Bran Executioner Thane. Ouch. Oh, cut down's a really good one here. They sack this to Bartolome. And then we go for the throw up Bartolome. And then we play Moss with Dread Knight. Is untapped tapped out? I'll refresh it and see if that works. What's up, Vorkaz? He did not sacrifice it? Excuse me? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is this is getting me, chat. This is getting me, guys. This this is really getting me. I can't wait till I kill this thing. No, they'll, they'll still have a stop because they have blood tokens to use. I can't go for the throat. They have priority. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Land. Blossoming Tortoise, give me a creature land. Do <laughs> you think it's on purpose? You think they're watching my stream and then watching watching the fact that I'm molding over this? And they're just like, you know what? I think I'm just going to take forever. Bitter Triumph. Take three. You got it. And scoop. Okay. For how fast they were, for how short they were taking throughout the game, you know, you'd expect them to scoop, to never scoop, but they just scooped. Okay. What do we want here? What do we think they're going to bring in against us? No idea. They're a low to the ground deck. They want to burn us. We bring in Gix's Command, Path of Peril. Liliana's terrible. Cut down's good, anoint's good. Is Terra Sunder good? I guess I guess Terra Sunder kills the backside of the 4-4 vampire. I don't see it being good outside of that though. Tranquil's not good. Okay, we have to cut three cards. Uh Nissa's pretty bad. Virtue's good. Tortoise and Shieldred are fine. These are fine. These are fine. I guess Bat isn't as good. But Bat does block their 2-1 flyer. We should probably cut a couple 3-drops since we're bringing in Path of Peril. Alright, let's cut a Glissa and a Sentinel. I just don't want to be overloaded on 3-drops and have it super clunky. Okay, we are going to... You see what I mean about the about the clunkiness here? I'm going to keep this just because I like land and, lands and spells. Lands and spells make me happy. And we have a lot of two drops and removal spells in our deck to draw into. We'll draw into what we need. Oh, don't you worry. Yep, more four drops. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what I was talking about. You remember you wanted to do a bit where in between the rounds, if we were at a CSGO stage when VP was playing, they had a better they had a player by the name of James. Nice. Unfortunately, my name's not James, it's James. I remember when Golgari Midrange used to have an uncounterable hexproof trampler 
Okay, we did not draw one or two drop. What's our worst card? I guess it's Glissa, so that's what we're playing next turn. Oh no, it's Bartolome. Give us a playable card, please. That's a tortoise. Wow. How did we not draw any one or two drops? I guess from here on out, since we're, we're, we're still at 18 life, we're just have haymakers for days. Call them daymakers. Okay, that was a bad joke. Don't laugh at that. Alright, here we go, Bartolome, plus opponent waiting forever. Alright, you know, maybe we'll think about something positive while they wait. Maybe they just have a little baby that they have to go into the other room to monitor every turn. And they have to step away from their computer every turn. Obnixilus Sac Bartolome. I will be discarding a land if they plus this. You work for me now, Runt. <laughs> and get it back with Blossoming Tortoise anyway. Is my entertainment. And I guess we should. We should play Shieldred next turn. If we get in with Glissa, we can kill one of these things. Ooh, Cutdown's very good right now. We cut down the Vran. We attack them. They have to block. Or else they lose an Obdixilis. They have to block. They hit me. Or maybe they just have really bad connection. We play Preacher, get some lifelinkers down. They have Mortolome. Sure. Make a devil. <laughs> Shake down the local by coin or con. This is one of the slowest players I've played against in a, in a very long time. And it adds on to it with them always having priority with Bartolome. It's a Markov. No removal. And they're going to lose one of their creatures, right? If they want to save on Mixilis. They could kill my creature, though, right? Block with Bartolome and then sack. Block Bartolome to this. The Devil to Glissa. Sack the Devil before first strike damage. Deal one damage to Preacher and then kill the Preacher. But I'm okay with that. I still get I still get my one one off the preacher anyway. Wait, what? Oh, it has to attack a player. It can't attack a walker. Okay, but it just says when it attacks, it has to attack a player. Hmm, did not know that. I'm not getting my one one, and I'm at thirteen life. might be doing what I said. Yep, they're doing what I said. And then we're gonna play Shieldred. I guess they could have removal in their hand, right? They have a card in hand. That, that card's like really, really like 
It's easy to it's easy to think they don't have a card in hand, right? It's like hiding behind the elephant. Maybe we should just play the tortoise. Just to play around removal. I'd like a creature land. Okay, they did not have removal. They played out the land instead of discarding it to the Blood Tithe Harvester. Wow. Oh, because they want they wanted to get to Voldaren Estate. Okay, that's that's fair. Just discard the Glisso. They have no answer for our first one anyway. You're gonna decline this. So I think we might need both Shieldreds. Oh my God! What an absolute banger draw. Gix's command, each creature with power two or less. And highest power. Creature land, thank you. Like a foundry? Take counters off that. Now they have nothing. Uh, not worth the effort. Uh, wipe that smug look off your face. Nice. Woo! We got past the person taking forever. And it was on purpose, right? Because that last turn didn't take forever. Deathcap Glade wrestles cottage. It's a mirror match. Uh oh. Uh oh. Guess we take the bat. Liana's pretty good here. I kind of want to just cut down this and then play out our Dread Knight as a 3 2. We have an answer to their 3 drop they're going to play next turn. Wow, they just drew a card? Holy crap. Well, now we can get in the Shieldred. Nice. Why don't they just play a 3-drop? Okay. Alright, what is good against the Mirror? Cutdown's good against Cat Bat and Dread Knight, and that's literally it. But Cutdown's bad. Annoying with Affliction's good. Liliana and Duress are, like, kind of bad. They're also kind of good. I mean, D Duress is bad. Liliana's better. Path of Peril's bad. Arena's pretty good. Lily, Arena, Command, Breach. We just gonna go, want to go bigger than them? Is Terra Sunder good? I guess it exiles Mosswood. It's just a four-mana removal spell. Ah, that sounds bad, too. I mean, if they're bringing in Arena, then Terra Sunder is a little bit better. Maybe we just bring out, bring, bring out the Frill back? Just to exile their Dread Knights? This is way too many three-drops, though. Way too many three-drops. I guess the bat is just worse than normal? Yeah, I guess the bat's bad. Gotta cut down on cutdowns. Yeah, you're right. Uh, we're gonna keep this. Hey, what's up, Mike? That's a swamp. Ooh, Wrestle's Cottage. Best draw on the deck. They play out a Dread Knight. We play out our Dread Knight.
Um, I guess we're blocking. I guess they technically could have Graveyard Trespasser in their deck. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like blocking is good because they might just draw a card and do nothing else, and I want to take control of the board. So hopefully they just draw a card. They decide to play the three drop this time. That's a good draw. Something suspicious is going on. And for once it's not my fault. One of your friends has to leave. I couldn't use my dread knight though. But that's fine. Okay, that's good. Are we discarding anything here? My play is go for the throw up Mosswood, right? Or Mosswood, Mosswood. Mosswood, Mosswood seems bad because it loses to their removal. Drop it. I think I'm going Mosswood and holding up Go for the Throat. And then we'll draw off Mosswood next turn and hopefully play Sentinel after we draw land. I'm going to remove this now. I don't want them to get added value if they get a land to hand. Especially because, like, a lot of lands in this deck are really good. They go... Oh, they can't play the Dread Knight. Oh, wow, that's so good for us. So what we can do here is... I want to plus Lily again? We can plus Lily, discard Sentinel, and then go land Gixus Command, but that's like, it's like, it's like a pretty bad Gixus Command, right? No, it, it adds the creatures back to our hand, but it doesn't kill anything of theirs. Well, I, th I think I still like it, because it, it lets us, it lets us minus Lily on a next turn. Do you have a turtle? They have a glissa. Cottage. I think I'm drawing a card here. Fieldred. I kind of want to play Shieldred plus Mosswood next turn, and I can't do that if I plus Liliana. So I'm just not going to plus Liliana. The easy block. So now I'm going Shieldred plus drawing a card. Portis, sure. They have a foundry. Or a cottage. Probably a cottage. We have a bunch of annoying afflictions in our deck. We have no cutdowns, so we have a lot of good draws here. I don't want to discard anything from Lily. They could have Go for the Throat in hand. Let's just do this and draw a card and hope they don't have Go for the Throat. I mean, they have a stop. Maybe we should have plus Lily. I'm going to put another blocker in play. Rip Mosswood. I don't really mind if they if they double block this, right? The 
Yeah, because then we can minus Lily if they do. Yeah, they just take it. What they could do is remove the Dread Knight and then attack with Restless Cottage. Now, they don't go for the throat, else they would have fired that off on the shield, Dread. Maybe they're attacking with everything. If they do that, they're dead. Unless they have removal. I think they're... Yeah, they're... No, they, they are dead if they attack with everything. Protecting me with the Wrestle's Cottage? Sure, you got you got me. Oh, they can gain life with the food, that's why. Oh crap! I didn't even realize they were attacking with Glissa. Oops. I did not even realize they attacked with that. I thought it was just cottage. That was a that was a punt. That was a massive punt, Jesus. Why did, how did I not realize they were attacking with that? That was weird. Really weird. I had a free Moss with Dread Knight attack. That's the reason I cast this, was to block Lissa. Well, that was freaking awful and a half. Jesus Christ. They, they have Virtue Persistence too? Juliana's not bad. Now what do we do? Make them sack a creature? Help, but I'm taking the credit when we win. <gasps> Sacrifices must be made. I think if they play out the Virtue, they lose. Unless they ha have an answer to Shieldred right now. Mosswood? Wow, they, they go to five. Okay, now they drew they, they drew the out. Anoint the Mosswood. Okay, that doesn't, that doesn't get rid of Shieldred. Play out Paseju. Play their Shieldred. We're getting rid of Sentinel. Are they dead if I just attack with Wrestle's Cottage and Mistress Foundry, though? One, two, three, four, five. The land helps me do both, right? Nice. Okay. We massively punted, but we won anyway. Kind of bad. We'll put back Shieldred since we're on the draw and only have two lands. Market Gnome. Oh god, how do we beat this deck? How do we beat this deck? Your deck is Sweeper Tribal. You know what? This deck has a soft spot for creature lands.
But they have Demolition Field in their deck. They play like four of this card, I think. Well, this gives me our second. This gives us our second black for Liliana, so I'm actually grateful they're doing this. Maybe they drew another Market Gnome? Okay. We should... I don't know, every time these die, they draw a card and lose... And, and they draw a card and gain a life? I don't really want them to draw cards. They can't attack me if I just plus, plus Liliana every turn. Tend to regret it. This virtues, this virtue is actually really good against them. We all have things we'd rather. Anoint is not as good. Like they have no answer to virtue game one usually, and their they, their deck is sleeper tribal. of your secrets I'll do this because I want to actually get gain card advantage hopefully without attacking they could have the five damage to a uh, tapped creature card demolition field again that's a good card if we get something here they don't they don't draw if we anoint i i agree uh let's see do, do we want a deep cavern bat probably not anymore i i realize that anoint exiles the gnomes and i don't draw but i don't think we need to do that i'm gonna discard glissa because virtue can just bring them back we all have things we'd rather i'm not even attacking with this sentinel because i don't want them to draw a sleeper their deck is literally 100% sweepers. We're playing out the bat. I mean, I guess I guess we are. Like they have depopulate in their deck, and they also have the five mana sweeper, and they probably also have sunfall. So it's like their demolition feeling just to thin their deck. So let's hope they don't draw a sweeper right this second. Because then we get to ultimate Lily. They did not draw one. Okay. Are we ultimately Lily now? And just making them keep their gnomes? Actually, they're going to draw cards off the freaking gnome. Oh, those gnomes are annoying. Ultimate Lily now. Or give them a draw. What piles are we doing if we ult? Three lands. Three lands versus... You know what? I, I can make them sack the gnomes. Keep the gnomes and three lands? Or do they ever just keep the gnomes with, with this board? I want them to, I, I kind of want them to sack the gnomes. Do they ever keep the gnomes here? I think I'll, I think I'll do this. Let them keep the basic lands. Okay, they sacked the gnomes, okay.
Because now they have to draw, like, land plus depopulate. Yeah, that, that's also a good one. Portis is also good. I'm going to work my way up to Virtue. Right in that. Oh, that's a good one. They're going to craft. Yep, and they're going to draw, like, three cards next turn. Sentinel. Another land. Okay, I'm going to get my creature land out. Then they're going to pay like, what is it, four mana or three? They're going to pay four mana to draw three cards. And then they can't, they can't sweep me with three cards. Maybe another Braided Net? My turn, and they have we have them exactsies. We have them exactsies, right? Cottage, boundary, attack them. Nice. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Said uh, just had a big crash of Ruski. Okay. Now what do we want? We want Frill back. We want Terra Sunder for sure. Uh, we want Arena because they don't have an answer to that. We want Lily. We want Duress. And that's it. We don't want Cut Down. We don't want Anoint. We don't. We definitely don't want go for the throat. We we could want a couple of anoints. I don't think so though. We don't want Gixus command, and we'll cut a Glissa since it doesn't kill artifacts. The problem is they usually bring in like Urza. And I kind of want anoint for that. <laughs> Thank you, Granddad. This hand's awful. Hand's way better.
Duress into Bat's pretty good. And a Terra Sunder. Disdainful Stroke? Guess we're taking the Spring Loaded Saw Blades. And then we'll take the Deep Cavern. We'll take the Thran Spider with the Deep Cavern Bat. This preacher attack, and then they're gonna play Fabrication Foundry and draw a card off a call for call. Wow, the glyph bridge went to the graveyard? Weird. We could tear us under the Akalpakal. Oh, we got the saw blades. My poor preacher. I guess we're still drawing a card from it, though. Do we have to tear us under the Akalpakal? Because we don't want them to draw a card. Can they, can they just Stainful Stroke a kicked Terra Sunder? Can you do that? No, I don't think so. Crap, that Market Gnome was so good. Now they get to draw a card and gain a life after crafting. That's annoying. Another Market Gnome? Can you calm down, please? No! No! Stupid Auto Tapper! Stupid Auto Tapper! Oh, I needed to kill this stupid blade wheel chariot. God. Why? Why? That's so annoying. That's probably game losing. Now they can use the found replication foundry to bring back the glyph bridge. Uh wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is so unlucky. Man, why does that even... No, they can't bring it back. They're one mana value short. Okay, can I tap correctly this time?
That's frustrating. Recommission. can't attack with the frill back because they have the freaking chariot that we should have killed. Tranquil, aka Chill Frillback? You're not wrong. Top deck depopulate. Must be nice. This should be dead. Tortoise, not bad. Probably should get down the tortoise now because they have a stroke in their hand. Hmm. I should have played the land first and left the foundry open. Never mind, I couldn't attack with it anyway. Man, this chariot's really annoying. Oh, we're gonna get to kill it? Nice. Then Fabrication Foundry can just bring those spring-loaded saw blades back. Or also the recommission can do that. Ooh. Ooh, a bat. Game's gonna be pretty hard to win after we punted. Don't draw sweepers, okay? Wait. Fabrication Foundry is a sweeper. That's annoying. They have unstable glyph bridge in the grave. So they're going to use Fabrication Foundry, exiling both of the Thran spiders. Or, or not. Okay. I thought... Okay, they have, they have a saw blades. Sure. All right, attack with Dread Knight and Tortoise. So they're going to saw blades the Tortoise. 
And then we're gonna they're gonna block the dread knife, but I wanna draw a card off that anyway, and I wanna trigger blossoming toward us anyway. We lost our other frill back, which is annoying. Let that go through. So they can always bring back Fab... They can always bring back... Unstable Glyph Bridge with the Fabrication Foundry. So it's kind of like... N there's no reason to play Glissa. Crap. Remember, you're going to make the vehicle again. Registering green cards. What is this, 2021? These green cards are good, though. But unfortunately, we're playing against Sleeper Tribal, and I don't know if we can beat this. We won game one somehow. But they have... Oh, they have this Temple Stroke in their hand for this Nissa. That's annoying. They do have Demolition Field for our Mistress Foundry. And unfortunately, they're st they still get to hold up the Stamful Stroke. But maybe they just don't want to block th these Dread Knights. Okay, they're blocking them now, so I get to draw cards. Our way to win this game is going to be flooding the board to a point where they don't think that they need to sweep, and then we just land Nissa. Tortoise. Okay, the tortoise can, the tortoise can uh, bait the stroke. I don't want to do that though. I don't wanna. Dress. Dress will be really nice. Negate. Oh! Ooh, that's so good! For us! Glissa Dread Knight? We just need to make them sweep. Oh, crap. That's a card. Like, their deck is anti-aggro dot deck. So it's gonna be really hard for us to kill them. Sentinel. Not bad. I don't think we're attacking with Foundry this turn. Otage is pretty good. Do we just do we just bait the stroke with the tortoise now? No, we just attack with, with Mosswood. I want to keep these Mistress Foundries and stuff coming back.
Oh, wow. Liliana's really good here. Except I wish we had... something else in hand. I, I guess we just have to play this. And then discard the cottage. Just because we can bring it back with the tortoise. You're telling me what you know about the Raven Man. I mean, I'm also okay with them discarding Thousand Moon Smithy. Don't overthink things. I discarded Stroke. I mean, maybe I should have left the Mistress Foundry up. So I could block something attacking Liliana, but... They could also just flip the net or tap a blocker. But Nissa is definitely our key to winning this matchup. Just huge burst damage if they don't bring back the sweeper with the fabrication foundry, which they're probably not going to because they just played Thousand Men Smithy. They make a huge 10 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 mana. They play Glass Casket. They play our, probably take our Deep Cavern Bet. They take our Sentinel. Okay. Back with the Blade Wheel. They're trying to kill us. We have four... We have three forests in play. I'm trying to kill Lily. And I'm okay with that, right? I already got the thing out of the hand that I wanted to get out of the hand. Weirdly enough, if we draw Terra Sunner, we might actually win the game. Oh, they're gonna braid at us, never mind. Virtue? Pretty bad. Do we have anything in the graveyard? Yes, we have a lot of stuff in grave. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I kind of want to kill the Thousand Moon Smithy. This is hard. I think this might be our best way to win. So they tap our... They're going to tap our Dread Knight and attack him with everything, and then we're still not dead. They're going to flip the Thousand Moon Smithy, which is annoying, which means they have a bunch of gnomes that they're going to make. We have 10 minutes left on the clock. They have 18 minutes. Can't be good. I mean, we have 10 minutes on the clock because our freaking stream crashed twice during this match and we needed to restart everything. I can't believe they tapped the thing. I can't believe they tapped this. They could have just tapped the Fabrication Foundry and left the barracks untapped. Oh, I guess it's because they, they drew a land. No, it has to be in your upkeep, right? Isn't this in your upkeep? Oh, beginning of main phase. Okay, so they already knew they drew the land, so it didn't matter. They can't kill us Virtue, right? So we can bring back our Tranquil Frillback frill back and kill their stuff. And our Blossoming Tortoise and our and our, and our Bat. Like, both of our Frillbats we get to bring back. We have an easy chump block with the 11-11. They're not blocking... They're not, they're not tapping our stuff with Braided Net. Do we win the game here somehow? They, they want to use the braided net on the Glissa, which means we probably can't kill them. But they are going to draw like a billion cards. Pay four mana, draw a billion.
Yikes. Ouch. Insane. Broken card. Brand Spider. They're tapped out. They're tapped out. Can we win? I don't know if we can win. We only have three forests for this Nyssa. Wait, 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 wait. One, two. Oh, this brings it back tap, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This is actually lethal if they didn't have this Thran Spider. We bring back the Blossoming Tortoise. How do we kill them? I'm going to pay green. Uh, pay another green? Okay, I forgot that I needed a lot of never mind. We can't win this we can't win right now. Can't stack with that either. Did Auto Tapper get us again? No. I needed to exile their graveyard because of Fabrication Foundry. Okay, they don't they don't have the thing that deals five damage yet. There it is. Okay, so they kill the Glissa or the Blossoming Tortoise. There. And then they transform the Urza, and they kill, they exile the Virtue Persistence. Gosh, this game is crazy. We need to block the 14 14 and the 2 4. Doesn't matter if we bought the five five or the two four. I guess it did matter because we have one, one less creature now. And they're tapped out again. They keep tapping out, and they're not really tapped out because they have fabrication foundry. Please don't make creatures, please don't make creatures, please don't make creatures. Just 
Do not make creatures. I don't know if we have enough damage to kill them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, they gained life. Fetch me more power stones. They play another creature. Two 14 14s. Land. Probably the end of the road here. We tried. We tried. This is 18 damage if they had no creatures in play. That was a really long game. But sadly, none of these other cards do anything. Is Anoint better than any of these cards? We also punted with this Tranquil for Whack. To run it back. Half kills gnomes. Yeah, but if they if we're at that part in the game, we're already losing. There's no batter duress in this hand, but I think it's fine. There's a chance that this deck should have, like, one white-colored land in it, just for Path of Peril. Because you can bring back the, the white land if you mill it with Blossoming Tortoise. Okay, that's a good land. That's a good card. Thran Spider? No Thran Spider. They could have the, the, the five damage card. Okay, they can't use the five damage card now. And I can kill the braided net with the with the Nissa. Can also kill it with the tranquil for back. Probably have a sweeper next turn. Vanquish the 
Saw blades can't hit vigilant creatures. Oh, it's only tap creatures. I thought it was attacking creatures. Saw blades is tap creature. Okay, we missed four points of damage. My right, some weak stone that kills the either the glissa or the sentinel. Okay. If we just keep we just keep hitting their stuff. We Blossoming Tortoise. Do I want to draw lands for Virtue? Nice. And then they're probably going to sweep us here, or they're going to try to kill the Nissa. But I'm okay with that, right? I guess there's an argument for plussing Nissa and then using the Tranquil Fill back to kill the other thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. The map token. Let's see if they have a stainful stroke in hand. They have negate. That's fine. All I'm trying to do is kill them. Uh, Liliana is removal, but I don't think I want it. Down to four? Okay, so they would have been dead here because I missed four points of damage earlier. Market gnome. We still have lethal on board on board. Not really, because recommission back braided net, yep. Do we have lethal on board if we just attack with two restless cottages? One, two, three, four. I guess we maybe do? What do we do now? So if we go green, this, 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 pay a green, destroy. This, even though they go to five. Like, Wrestle's Cottage attacks for five anyway. We go... Cottage. Foundry. We could not kill them here. Exile Might Stone because of Fabrication Foundry. Saw Blades. They need two Saw Blades here, right? Sick. We went with a minute and a half left. That was a freaking brutal match. All right, guys, thank you very much for hanging out. We went 3-0 and in matches, and we even beat a matchup that I didn't think we could win, the Azorius Artifacts deck. But uh, this deck has a lot of staying power. Blossoming Tortoise bringing back the Restless Cottage and Mistress Foundry, no matter how many demolition fields that they have, is really strong. It has really good play against aggro decks with Preacher of the Schism and Sentinel the Naming City, both having four toughness. Glissa Sunslayer is a 3-3 first strike death touch. There's a lot of removal spells, um, a lot of chump blockers like Mosswood uh, Dread Knight and Shield of the Apocalypse. So there's a lot of things going on with this deck. It's really hard to lose to aggro, I think, based on what I just said. And 
Uh, we also ended up beating the control deck, so um, if you want a good mid-range deck to play, this is the third most popular deck in the meta. As far as the winner's meta game is concerned, you can go to magic.gg to figure that out and read the article. Uh, I got this off of the aggregate Golgari mid-range list, and it seems really strong. So if you like it, check out the deck list down in the description below, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.